look at a couple of things. Um, give me um, your Ukanon. For those watching, you'll hear the name John is what you'll call it, but it's not. The actual name is Yah, Ukanon. Fifteen. Let's see, fourteen. Hmm. Yeah, fifteen and fourteen. Listen. Ye are my friends. Ye are my friends. If you do whatsoever I command you. If you do whatsoever I command you. Come on. Henceforth. I call you not servants. Hence, from this point forward, I don't call you servant. For the servant knoweth not what his Adani doeth. See that? The servant knoweth not what his Adani doeth. What happened, son? But I have called you friends. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Abba. For I all have, things that I have heard of my Abba. I have made known unto you. Um, Acts of the Apostles. No matter how we do it, we'll start backwards. They'll say backwards, but we'll declare it in at the beginning. 26, Acts of the Apostles 26. Uh, we'll start 24. 26, 26 come to mind. Let's look at something. And before you get me that, let's see. Uh, other one will give me the book of uh, Romans 8, 28. Listen. And as he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud Romans voice. Romans 8, 28. Then we'll get that one. Listen. And we know that all things work together for Taub to them that love Allahim, to them who are the called according to his purpose. This is something we like, we forget sometimes when situations happen, when things come against us, or we find them, as we say, out of our control, out of our happening. We forget that if we do exactly what he said, that all things work together. You don't see it. Sometimes things happen in bits and pieces. But the book said that we know that all things work together for Taub to them that love Allahim. Let's see something. Just to kind of solidify that statement. Uh, Ephesians 4. Four and eight. Listen, Ephesians four and eight. Listen. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto Anus. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the Arats? Y'all hear that? That's right. We're going to find earth, but the word is Arats. Listen. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all Shamayim. Listen that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some Nabah 
and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Pay attention to what he did. He gave some. Listen. And he gave some apostles. Some. Naba. Naba. Some evangelists. Yeah. And some pastors and teachers. For what? For the perfecting of the set apart ones. See that? Because we don't believe a saint. They use them. Listen. For the work of the ministry. For what happened? For the edifying of the body of Mashiach. Listen to what happened. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. You're, you're 90 under one. Well, listen to the eighth chapter again of the book of Romans, 828. Listen. And we know. He said we figure. We know. We have an idea. We know. We know. That all things, things work. Separately. Work. Together. What do all those gifts do? Work separately? They work together. So the Tau. That's the same thing he just told you basically in that fourth chapter of the book of Ephesians. Uh, he gave some. He told you why. They were for the perfecting of the set apart ones. Till we all. So every different. So when you look at situations when they come, if you're actually heeding to what's been told uh, or what you've been taught, then when situations happen to rise, then it's got to work out for you good. Well, our problem coming in is, is when we differ or we start to veer off is when it starts to become challenging to us. That's why we have to actually sit down. We come and we look inside the scriptures to try to look and see that we're trying to maintain the type of works that he's calling for. Y'all got me? Um, we'll look at one. Um, uh, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that are called, that, are, that love. And we know that all things work together for Ta'ub to them that love Allahim to them who are the called according to his purpose. See that? That's what you got to look at. If things are not working out for you, and you don't see things working, then you got to start listening. One thing, have you heard the call, or have you heeded the call? Hmm? Because if you have, then it's got to work. See, when we start looking at his purpose, it's a little different than what we see or what we might think. And I, where our problem come in with him or, uh, is, is it comes to be when we start to decide or dictate how things should happen for us in our life. Hmm? That's the problem. The book says you are not your own. But you were bought with a price. If you purchase something, is it going to tell you what to do? If you purchase something, you put it where you want it. Isn't that right? Anybody ever bought furniture? How many of y'all let the furniture go where it want to go? You put it where you want it. Well, where you got it, it might say, I don't like this spot. It don't show me the way I want to be shown. This spot don't have enough light. It's kind of dim over here to me. People don't really notice me over here. Some, one part of might say, I feel like where I'm at, people sit on me all the time. And I don't get a break. I feel like it's a lot on me. But when you purchased it, you made a decision on where you want to put it or how you want to use it. Hmm? You bought a car. car go where, it want, go where you tell it to go. Isn't that right? Wherever you drive and you pay for it to go, it does and it, it, don't, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be taking you where you don't want to go. It should be taking wherever you steer and where you drive. No matter what the car want to do, you say, this is where we're going, right? Well, this is the same thing that happened with Yahuwah. Sometimes we forget. You're not your own. And when you're not your own, you got to get rid of your ideas and your thoughts of, I want to still be me. I get it him. You got this individuality type stuff. If you told something, you try to figure how you can still be you and still maintain and operate inside of the Dabarim. That's your problem. Isn't that right? When you come and people say, well, son, it cramped my style because your style ain't, I, you know, it ain't shit. Just for a lack of a better term. It ain't shit. Isn't that right? If your style's any good, he want to give you the dabarim. He came and fashioned us to his liking. And the problem comes in when we start to set up our own ideas, our own ideologies, and start to try to, try to predict or try to see things happening for us. But you can't see that far because you're a vapor of smoke. That's, that's even, including me when I'm making these statements. And a lot of times we kind of lose sight of what we're doing and we forget. He put us in certain places for a reason. Y'all got me? He put us in certain situations for a reason. It's not about our glory. It's about him getting the glory. And the things we do a lot of times, it's our glorification. Y'all got me? It's for our showing. It's for our acknowledgement. And that's not why he made you. He let us run for a while. Like sometimes I tell if I give him advice, I tell him something. Y'all let you do it your way and say I work out. Isn't that right? Same thing he did with, with the people. He said, he let them on and said, I'll see what the end going to be. Isn't that right? He told them, he said, provoke me to jealousy. When he saw everything they did, 
He said, let them run on. I see what the end going to be. People say, they got to run on. See what the end going to be. You know how dangerous that song is? Especially when he made a statement saying he was going to let you do it. And you saying on the song, you're going to do it anyway. This is straight rebellion. But see, we get so caught up. And these are songs that excite people. It's always exciting when you're doing something contrary to what you've been told. But we are people that are supposed to be strictest for the law. Y'all got me? The law allows a man or a woman to maintain good work. You can't maintain good works when you get outside the law. You're outside of the parameter of his operation. All right, let's see. Listen. Though he slay me, though he listen, though he slay me, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Listen, what he gonna do? But I will maintain mine own ways before him. Mm. What happened, Brandon? He also shall be my salvation. Listen, for an hypocrite shall not come before him. He said he already know who was afflicted. And we talked about this on many occasions. He said, though he slay me, yet will I still trust him. How many of us do that? No, to a point. To a point, you ain't lost everything you had. And even the very person that you love, if anybody ought to be with you, still with you, that'll be your spouse, and even your own spouse saying you wrong. And you still got it, then your whole body afflicted, you're laying there with boys, and your closest friend coming, even they got ridiculed for you. And he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. And then said he was going to maintain his ways, meaning I'm not going to deviate from what I've been doing. Not, you know what? I need to quit their lying, cheating, stealing, hypocriting, and false pretending. Why he didn't say that? Time me to get my wretched self together. Man, I need to start praying. No. He said, I'm going to maintain, meaning I know I hadn't done nothing. I'll continue the same way. The average of us, you get thrown soon as something happens. Soon as something happens, you get thrown. If you were doing right, you'll start saying right was wrong. That's how the devil works. He already know how you think. Tell him when he comes to fix you, the first thing to do, if you know, if you hadn't been doing, you think, I, I got to be. Why could something else, why else would something be going on if I wasn't doing nothing wrong? I had to. That's why you got to know your own ways. And even my book teaches in the 13th chapter. This is the 13th chapter, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Listen to that, 13 and 5. Listen. Examine yourselves. You said let who do it? Examine yourselves. And do what? Whether ye be in the faith. What you want me to do? Prove your own selves. To do what? Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahushua HaMashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Reprobates is worthless. If he's not in you, it's because you're worthless. The house is uninhabitable. So you need to see yourself in this state. This is where you'll make a change. Our whole purpose of what we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be building a house, a bed, a place that he can come in, he can habitate or cohabitate. Y'all got me? But when he come in the house, he want to be known as the uh, Adani. He wants to be the one that's over the house. He don't want to come in the house and then ask you permission to do nothing. You mind if I use you? Do you feel like saying? Do you feel like shouting? Do you mind dancing? Do you mind living right? When he come in and he going to be the Adonis, I'm going to run the house. Hmm? All right. Okay. That's how he want to do when he come in. He looking for a place. He don't want to come in and share the operation. He come in, he need to run. Y'all got it? When he come in, he asks, uh, who, are you in charge of the girls? Huh? Are you in charge of the girls? <laughs> That's how he's looking at. And he get questioned, you saying something wrong, then I'm going to take you outside and whoop your ass. Isn't that right? Because he's going to run the house the way it's got to be ran. People just got to know how to maintain the work. Well, our problem come in, we want to be used when we want to be used versus you got to keep yourself available. Hmm? That's well, okay. Y'all all right? So at looking at being available, this is a man that was available. He was a man available that he could lose all his kids, all his goods, all his friends, and even his wife turn her back on him. Available. But one thing he did not say, man, I've been screwing up. 
Had I been doing what I supposed to do, I wouldn't be in this situation. This is a story about a man that said, I'll keep doing what I've been doing. Because I know I hadn't done nothing wrong. Now, what's your story tonight? When things happen, you get challenged. What's your story? I need to stop what? I need to start doing what? I need to get back on what? When you hear the statement made here, and we figure, and we know. You know how we know? Experience. Experience taught him this. When he said we know, what type of, what people do you think he was talking to? Seven and one. Romans. That was eight and one. Let's just look at the statement. Listen. Know ye not our key. Listen to this. Know ye not our key. For I speak to them that know the law. How? That the law hath dominion over an ish as long as he liveth. A ish. A single man. A noose for men, ish for man. How that the law has dominion over a man as long as he liveth. What would you got? About a sheet. Is a statement being made concerning the law. Bar a sheet, which they're going to call Genesis. Fourteen. Listen. And the name of the third river is Hidikel, that is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. Which is going to be the Tigris River. They'll call it the Tigris River, Hidikel. Listen. And the fourth river is Euphrates. Yes. And Alahim took the Ish and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and Y'all to keep it. He put the Ish in the garden to dress it. Listen. And Alahim commanded the Ish, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Y'all paying attention there? Of every tree of the garden he may freely eat. But of the tree... Of the knowledge of Taub and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. This is what happened. For in the yum that thou eatest thereof, Tell them what will happen. thou shalt surely die. 71 of Romans. Listen. Know ye not our key. See that? He for said, You don't know this. You don't know this, our key. What, what we don't know? For I speak to them that know the law. He want to speak to them that know the law. Tell them about the law, Brandon. How that the law hath dominion over an ish as long, long as he liveth. And that what Adam was told in the garden. He gave him a law. And that law was over him as long as he lived. Y'all all right? See, when you hear these statements being made, you got to be able to rectify them to a point of you can go back and you can, you can gather the information and know exactly what he's saying. These are not just... Something he's just pulling out of the wind, like people say. Hold on, he's giving me something. Anything he's giving me can be found inside of the writings. Otherwise, he didn't give it to me. See, the problem we got now, everybody putting stuff out there. Oh, he said he's getting ready to do a new thing. What about these other things he did? I don't need to see nothing new till you get through with this. It's kind of like we were kids. Sometimes you want to get a cookie. When they tell you you can eat that? Let's finish up this before we get this new stuff. Even bad parents got enough sense to realize that. I'm not going to give you no new food. You had not ate what you got. 
Isn't that right? And what a real good parent do, they'll put it up. I don't care how cold it is. You're behind to eat this, you won't eat nothing else. Do it make sense? He don't come and give us some new things and we ain't finished eating up the old. Y'all got me. So, and what, what don't even line up? He said you're going to eat old store because of the new. So when new information come, it sends up right back and say, well, you know you got to eat that old before we eat the new. See, everything that he tells us, again, the Romans, the first chapter. Romans 1, what, 17? Romans? One, seventeen. Listen. For therein is the Sadiq of Allahim revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the Sadak shall live by faith. For the wrath of Allahim is revealed from Shamayim against all Rasha and that which is not Sadiq of Anus, who hold the truth in Rasha, because that which may be known of Allahim is manifest in them. For Allahim hath shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the Arats are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Allahim, so that they are without excuse. What happened? Because that, when they knew Allahim. Back they, me up a little bit. What it was, verse 19? Tell me what I said. What I took it. 19. Let me see what 19 says again. I was trying to write. So. Because that which may be known of Allahim is manifest in them, for Allahim hath shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the Arats are oh, clearly seen. See that? The invisible thing. We make that statement on many occasions. He told you that the invisible things of Allahim are clearly seen. We can see that. Everything he told us we can see. Eating old store because of the new. Parents will tell you, nope, not until you finish this, you can't get the other stuff. Isn't that right? I ain't going to buy you. Buy me some new shoes. Wait till those get worn out first. So now you know what you had to go do. You got to go and tear them up so you can get to the new. If we're going to get anything new, go devour the old first. Isn't that right? Then there's a reason to come back to give you new. Y'all got me? And this is where we are lacking today because people keep wanting something different and new ideas and realizing the idea he first put down, people had not actually grasped. Isn't that right? That's why when statements are made, people come up and people become imperfected because they don't want that information. They want something else. I already know that, so you would assume, but when you know it, then you manifest and you conduct your behavior. Hmm? It's a keeping. Isn't that right? It's a continual. You used to say the most profound words ever, though he slay me. You know what I trust in? Because I'm going to maintain my ways before him. If we just got that to a point of maintaining, not maintaining bad work, maintaining good work. Even Shaul came up talking about maintaining good work. Now, we got to start looking at how consistent are we or when do situations arise that cause it to become inconsistent? Then we have to start looking at our people, uh, the things we listen to or gather with, or things that we love. Because a lot of times these things play a part of hampering us when it comes down to our obedience. A lot of times people might look at things and don't look at it as violations or whatever. But things that come across, and when things are said or told to you, you have to consider when they come across. A lot of times what y'all do... Um, When um, Shaul, in one speech, began to talk to the people about how they received his words, and he said when they received it, he said it was not as they were the words of men, but as it was the word of Allahim. He looked at them receiving it, and you didn't take it as though it was a man's speech. You took it as it was the words of Allahim. When things are told to you, you had to consider a lot of time. You don't look and say, well, that's your preacher. Or oh, is that all he ain't talking? Is that his opinion? Or oh, that's how he feel? Or oh, that's how he go? You got to just sit back and decide for looking at something. It's just safe to just stay back. Because for all of us, we're talking about our soul salvation. And what happen a lot of times, we get clouded in our judgment. And we get stagnant. Anything that comes, we have to consider. Everything coming is a test. Everything. Just like you said, we know all things. Get a call, kids, you got to speak. Get a call, your call broke, your call broke down. All these things are working together for a purpose, if you're called. 
if you love him, to see if you're going to do just like Eve. Can, nobody, all the people that complain, quit, whatever it is, whine about it. Nobody got a testimony on this man. Ain't nobody going through with this man. You hear people, you'll cry because somebody, one statement, I had cancer, I almost died, it came, you crying and weeping. Now I lost my whole family. Lay that, then his own body laying in boils and sickness. Nobody come to be a bearer of, 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 of courage or inspiration. Everybody come and telling you, if you were so right, why would you be in this situation? I can't see somebody that's supposed to be living so right. I know people say, and they're not going through what you're going through. All this just damper even the more to make you doubt. Yeah, that man still said, I'm going to maintain my ways. What we do is bad for us because then challenges will come up, and when we get tested, that ain't what we want to be tested. But when y'all test it, it's to show it. When I'm saying, yeah, include me, it's to show where you where you vulnerable at, uh, uh, vulnerable at, where you need to come and make the corrections at, and where you got to get yourself together. Hmm? Okay. The, the purpose when we come in here is to really make sure we're examining ourselves. So we cover a lot of ground. The language is so it's important to us. But just the idea of how we got to live is the most important. The language, again, is not important if we ain't got the idea of how to live. You can't keep yourself. You can't, you can't stay obedient. You can't stay consistent. You can't stay away from stuff. You keep getting yourself caught in anything. You got to start looking at what good the language. The first power of anything we do, okay, when he spoke to Adam in the garden, what do you think he spoke? Yeah, Adam. Yeah, all the tree. I command you now in the name of the queen not to eat the tree, the science bacon. Who going to speak pure Aubrey the human guy? Hmm? When he had a name to it, who would have spoken it clear or plainer than he would have? No interpreter. This is straight from the man's mouth to your ear. What good is that if it's not in your heart to obey? Why is everybody pushing so dramatic? And I'm, and I'm a proponent of learning the language. But if there's no obedience, you're going to be right back where we started. What did, did Adam come back and say, I didn't understand you because them crackers had been beating on my ass and I don't, you know, and I got confused. I was building a tower, and somehow stuff got scrambled. Nothing. This is just me and you. Direct from Allahim's mouth. I ain't no, hold on. Say that again, them birds were flying. This is direct from his mouth to your ear. And you got it wrong. Now he come along, he set up a way that he's already intended for us to get, to bring us back. He knew when he made man, man was going to get away from him. But he knew he was going to come back in the second end and he was going to bring man back to him. Y'all all right? At the 11th chapter of the book. I might need a little L too. Kahala, 11. Y'all put your coats on now. Don't burn up the work, man. You're going to call it Ecclesiastes. So that's 11 and 1. You got to turn on both of them. Yeah, just give me one. Put your one kick up at the top of him. We ain't going to freeze him, but we don't want to disease him either. All right. Kahala, 11 and 1. Listen. Cast thy bread. Uh-oh. Cast. Thy bread. Well. Upon the mem. Listen. For thou shalt find it after many yamin. Y'all see what I already let him know when they put it out there. It's coming back. He know when man went out, that man was coming back. Y'all all right? Hold what you got. Read it again. Cast thy bread upon the mem, for thou shalt find it after many yamim. Hold on for a minute. Um, oh, um. Yeah, Ukula. Make it no order, y'all. You don't call it Luke. Twenty-four and one. I gotta work this backwards, I guess. Twenty-four one. Mm, Mati Yahoo.
Mata Yahoo. 2730. Mm. Let's say something. Other one, get me the book of your Ukanai. Yeah, Uka 9, 644. I'll work that out. So give me Matayahu 2731. Listen. And after that, they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. Pay attention. After they did what? And after that, they had mocked him. After that, they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him. And did what? Put his own raiment on him. They put his own clothes on him. And led him away to crucify him. Listen. And as they came out, they found Aish of Serene, Shimon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. Listen. And when they were coming to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Nabah, they parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Y'all got it already? Order y'all. 24. They're going to call it Luke. Order y'all 24 and 1. Listen. Now upon the Akkad Yum of the week, upon very the early in the, the morning, other week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, Listen. and certain others with them. What happened? And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. Listen. And they entered in and found not the body of the Adani Yahusha. Y'all hear what happened? And when the stone rolled back, they, they entered in and found what now? And found not the body of the Adani Yahusha. What happened? And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, yeah. behold, two Anu stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the Aretz, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is what? He is not here. But what? But is risen. What you want me to do? Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, mm -hmm. saying, the bin of Ish must be delivered into the hands of sinful Anus yes. and be crucified, and the Shalishi Yum rise again. You hear that? And the third day. Listen. And they remembered his Dabarim. Which was the third Yum. Listen. And returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. Listen. It was Marim Magdalene and Joanna and Marim the mother of Jacob and other women that were, that were with them which told these things unto the apostles. Y'all hear what happened? They told unto the apostles. Tell them what happened. And their dabarim seemed to them as idle tales. Can you see what happened? It seemed crazy. It just did it sound crazy. Listen. And they believed them not. Listen. Then arose Kaf and ran unto the sepulchre. And stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves. Yes. And departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Listen. And behold, Two of them went that same yum to a village called Emmaus. And what happened? Which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs. Yes. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. Yes. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, yes. Yahusha himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. See that? Their eyes were holding they should not know him. Listen. And he said unto them, What? What manner of communications are these? That you do what? That ye have one to another. That you do what? As ye walk and are sad. And what happened? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, yeah. answering said unto him, What did he say? Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem? You can't, you can't be from around him. Tell him why. 
and has not known the things which are come to pass there in these yamim. Listen. And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Yahusha of Nazareth, Listen. which was a Nabah mighty indeed, and Dabar before Allahim and all the people. Listen. And how the Rosh Kahan and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, yeah. and have crucified him. Listen. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed. Now what they did. They did what now? We trusted. We trusted. That it, that it had been he. See, they said they trusted that it should have been him. And you ain't going to believe what they just told you. Listen. Which should have redeemed Yasharal. And what happened, Brandon? And beside all this. And besides what now? All this. Besides what you said? And beside all this. All this. Tell them what happened, Brandon. This yum is the Shalisha yum they since these things were done. The third. It just says the third. Listen. Yea, and certain women also of our company who did what? made us astonished. When they did what? Which were early at the sepulchre. And did what? And when they found not his body, what did they do? They came, uh -huh. saying that they had also seen a kazoon of Malachi, yeah. which said that he was alive. What happened? And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre, yeah. and found it even so as the women had said. Listen. But him they saw not. Then he went unto them, then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe oh, that the Naba have spoken. Ought not? Mashiach to have suffered these things. And the end of where? Into his glory. And beginning where? At Mashah. And where? All the Naba. He did what? Expounded unto them. And all the what? Scriptures. The things. Concerning himself. I'm confused. Listen what happened. And they drew nigh unto the village. And what happened? Whither they went. Yeah. And he made as though he would have gone further. And what happened? But they constrained him. Saying what? Abide with us. Stay. Listen. For it is toward evening. It was getting dark. What happened? And the yum is far spent. So what happened? And he went in to tarry with them. And what happened? And it came to pass. Then what happened? As he said at meat with them. What happened? He took bread. And did what? Baraka it. This said Baraka. He did not bless. We don't bless. That deals with spirits. We Baraka. Bless deals with evil spirit. That's satanic worship. Oh, talking about bless you when you sneeze. Bless you. And that made a mess to you. All done did it lied to us our whole life. The word is Baraka. You had the Beth, the Rosh, you had a Kuf, and you have the Hay, the final form. Y'all got it? So your ancient it will look, uh oh. -uh. Your ancient it will look something like this. Uh oh. Beth, the Rosh, the Aleph, the Kaf, and the He, the Ha, I'm sorry, I said the He, the Ha. That you'll see in the ancient. That's the ancient. So these, these characters here you see written. You have the Beth, the Rosh, the Aleph, the Kaf, and the Hay. Baraka. Listen. And break and gave to them. And break and gave to them. And their eyes were open. Pay attention. And their eyes were what? Open. And what happened? And they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. Let's see if we can prove this out. Pick me up if you would. The Ukana is six forty four. Listen. No Ish can come to me. No man can come to me except the Abba, which have sent me, draw him. And I will raise him up. 
at the last yum. Tell them. It is written in the Nabah. It's written in the Nabah for not prophets. Prophets are people that sue, say for God. The word is Nabah. Nabah. Listen. And they shall be all taught of Allahim. See that? They, they shall all be taught of Allahim. Listen. Every ish, therefore, that hath heard and have learned of the Abba, cometh unto me. See that? That's tight. That's tight. Y'all got it? I can prove it out. But, um, y'all got it? Because he made a statement. It's got to be right. It's got to be exactly right. It can't be light right. It's got to be exactly right. Finish reading. Not that any each have seen the Abba, Save he which is of Allahim, he have seen the Abba. Listen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your Abba did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Listen. This is the bread which cometh down from Shamayim that Aish may eat thereof and not die. Listen. I am the living bread which came down from Shamayim. If any ish eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the Arats. At the 17th chapter of the book of Kazum, 17 and 11. Then we'll go back and pick up Kahala, the 11th chapter. Listen. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. Listen. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten malachim, which have, no, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as malachim one hour with the beast. Mm -hmm. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Listen. These shall make war with the lamb. See that? They're going to make war with the lamb. And the lamb shall overcome them. And the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Adani of Adani and Malak of Malakim. Listen. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Listen. And he saith unto me, the meme which thou sawest. Uh oh, pay attention. The meme which thou saw. Where, where, the was whore, it? where the horse sitteth. Where the horse sitteth. Where was it? Our peoples. At the 11th chapter of the book of Kahala, 11 and 1. I ain't even want none of this. Since I had read it, I said, well, I ain't going to say I said it. He said, show them how it go. This ain't no stud out. It's just, we read it, said, put it together. I just had to think about it for a second. Listen. Cast thy bread upon the mem. He said I was that true bread. Why would he tell them that I wonder? That I'm the true bread that came down from Shamayim. What reason would he be telling them that I wonder? Because he just told them to cast our bread where? Upon the mem. Cast Yahushua upon the people. And tell them what's going to happen. For thou shalt find it. Thou shalt find who? It. Tell them when. After many yamim. You know why I read them through? I knew they thought they were smart. Because they were thinking three. See, one is singular. Two is a couple. Three is a few. Four would be many. That's why when they sat and they broke bread, their eyes were open. And you found them. They're just putting the jet planes and get to you. See, you were looking for three days to be, that's only a few. Any fool know that one is singular, two is a couple, three is a few. After that, you hit many. Because they didn't find him in three days. That's why you had to pay attention. They told him to stay. It was toward evening, so it got dark. Now he said, now I can show him. How you doing? Everybody all right? See, at the end of the day, I can prove it, though. He just told me to catch. Some nigga sitting out here throwing his damn lunch out in the water, thinking it's going to come back to him. Somebody throwing all this damn light bread and cornbread out here, ducks eating it up, and they sitting there waiting on it. Because, again, when he's talking, he's speaking to them that know the law. See, the difference becomes when you know the law. 
then it can be put together. We don't know the law. It's just killing time. Okay. All right. Don't worry about it. But our purpose of being here is to try to achieve something. You're not going to achieve it unless you got a real grasp of the concept of what you're trying to do. Your heart desire has got to be saved first. Y'all got me? Everything else is secondary. Everything else is just additive. Y'all got me? A lot of times we get a lot, and what shows whether or not it becomes primary is when things happen. How do you do in loss? How do you do in difficult situations? How do you do when things begin to come against your opposure? How do you come when, even when it's self? Sometimes it ain't got to be other people, things, or loss. You can have things and don't be held. It just be your own internal battles you have with yourself. Hmm? But it's going to be a matter of do you maintain. Hmm? Everybody here won't get attacked the same way, but everybody needs the same information. Because when we go through and we read, we find so many different variables of different, um, different things that happen and challenges that all of the people, the patriarchs that went before us, that they faced, then we look at how they overcame those adversities. That's where we get our strength from. Then we have to have that same confidence of belief. Y'all got me? If you got the same confidence of disbelief, then you don't get the same thing the other guy that turned away. Huh? That faltered, that denied. That failed. How many times have we failed it? How many times have we failed ourselves? At what point do you get yourself when you become concrete? When you become solid enough that you stand? That you stop making your salvation about what you got and what you connect to or who you got? Your salvation can't be based on that. He would tell you, you supposing that being like Allahim is gain, that, that money is being like Allahim, we'll say, withdraw yourself. Some people here will account their salvation of them doing well with Yahuwah because they're not in a suffering state. It's just because it's not your time. Keep living. You keep living, things will change. Hmm? Things will change. Huh? Every balloon ain't up in the air. Some of them still in the pack. And the one that's out the pack that's up, eventually they'll bust and come back down. And get what? Another one make their way out the pack. Ain't nobody coming out staying up. Y'all got me? But for us to go up, First thing we learn we got to do, you got to have to decelerate, decrease. Y'all got me? What does it mean? You have to get rid of some of the ideas you got. You got to get rid of some of the people. You got to get rid of some of the things you do. You got to get rid of it in order for you to increase. Look at him in order to get the things that he got. He already had been spoken of and known of, but yet they want to know when he made statements. They want to know how did he fall. He didn't fall. I had to do this in order for me to go up. And that's what happened to us. We're not willing to give up now. All the example been, I'm going to get you some coffee, baby. You're holding on. You're doing, you're doing good. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about you. So what you do, you have to start looking at um, uh, these things. If you really want to be saved, you got to be willing to give up something. Just, man, I, I mean, you can't give away nothing you don't want. I had a, I had a pastor. He was my cousin, actually. He was my second pastor back then. I had a bunch of them. I don't know what the hell I was doing one time. But anyway, talking to myself. But uh, hot mic. But, um. I remember one time we was donating clothes. He got on everybody about it. He said, don't give people nothing you don't want. He said, I'm going there. This ain't no time to clean your clothes. I give people your junk. He said, you give them. He said, I give away stuff. I give away stuff I want. He said, I have it clean before I give it to them. That's why I don't give people junk. I'd rather not. I'd rather throw junk in the trash. If you want to go in the trash and get it, you go get it. So what Yahuwah gave us, he didn't give us no junk. He gave us something he wanted. The one he gave us, he said, I love that. I love you enough, I gave it to you. He said, you had, I don't want it anyway, I hate it. But I ain't saying a whole lot. You appreciate it, but it wasn't that for him. He said, what I gave you, I loved it. You know, sometimes we take when people give us stuff, it wasn't nothing to them anyway. You don't realize, he said, I got still attachment to it. Huh? I loved it. So what did that tell you about you if I gave it to you? That mean, I love you too, huh? I mean, I love you enough to give you something. I love something I care about. See, you don't think like that. You just think like a fool. We think like a fool all the time. People are always throwing trash. You go to Goodwill, that's people trash. It's junk. Some of that junk don't even drag in now. People just want something to write off and just so they can get out their books or get out their claws and make room. What well, he had is I want to keep it. Matter of fact, I gave you myself. But you don't consider that because you get so wrapped up in your own enigma, your own problem, your own idea, self-battlements and stuff you let get and deal with you and other things you kind of get yourself tired of, you don't consider. Man, this stuff come and go. This stuff all come and go. The only thing remaining the same is the, is the, is the debauch. At the end of the day, the only thing don't change is the debauch. 
Listen, the same about that was spoken when he stepped on the scene, hadn't moved, hadn't been altered. People gone along the way, like he said, and sought out wicked invite devices, started saying, well, let me say it this way. I just think it needs to be worded different. He said, if you took it literally like I said, like people that did believe on me, those people made it. And my confidence got to be the same. I take it just like he said it. I obey it just like he told me to do it. That's how I'm going to get my salvation. The difference come in because everybody said, but how do you know? There's been so much going on. How do you know anything? Huh? But you believe some. Everybody believe. Even the people that don't believe, believe some. They believe not to believe. Don't tell me you don't believe. You're a liar. You believe some. Isn't that right? You have to believe some not to believe. What told you not to believe? What did you get that told you not to believe? My confidence is in it. My confidence is in the people that gone before him. It makes sense. It makes Allahim sense when you sit down and consider it. Huh? Everything he told you is just right. Isn't that right? And we got to get that same mindset to believe and to trust and wait on it and stop trusting in ourselves. He told us, curse the man whose arm is his strength. Huh? He said, Yo, you curse. You don't let your own arm be your strength? You don't let that be your protection? The whole purpose we hear, the real, he put you in these, these um, vulnerable points and situations, these failure points, so you'll see you stop trusting yourself. That's what Shaul considered. The only reason he let him fail, the only reason he said it, so I wouldn't trust in myself. Because it's easy for us to get exalted when we start having things going away for a time or things start happening back to back or a whole lot of things just going well. It's easy for you to start trusting yourself, so you need a little failure sometimes. Sometimes you need to kind of let that decelerate a bit. Getting too high, let you kind of bust that bubble a little bit. Let a little air that bring you down. Keep you where you can stay with humility. Hmm? It is. A lot of times we forget. It's just time and chance. Everything we got is just time and chance. Nobody smart enough in here to do nothing. Nobody capable enough to come up with nothing. It's just time and chance. And you start to look at it, he said, if you look at that, just your whore. That's how I see fit to do. That's why you learn to stay in his graces. Isn't that right? You consider, it's just his graces. Only reason you ain't that person on the home the street tonight. Ain't because you're so smart and you'll never do it and what you'll do. You'll do the same thing they do. He gave you that mind. If he told you to do it, you couldn't break out if you wanted to. Nobody in here can change one of their situations. Nobody. Whatever situation you got, that's the situation he gave you. That's the situation you're going to take. And you ain't got to take it. You can try something else, but it ain't going to change nothing. All you're going to do, you're going to find yourself fighting. You're going to find yourself in a horrible place after a while. Isn't that right? He, he put us in all these situations we're in, so we submit. Huh? If anything, he want to see you a call upon him while he's near. Trying to get to forsake our ways and our thoughts. Huh? So he'll have mercy on us, so we'll return back to him. A lot of times we just keep fighting and keep going. What's the use? What's the purpose? That's why you're in the situation you're in. That ain't never the answer to me. What's the use? What's the purpose? The answer is there is a purpose. I just got to learn to be patient and sit back to look and see exactly what he said to do. Same thing that happened with Yahuwah. When they told him, when, she, when the, when the Malak came and told him about all the things he had told him, it did. Just like he said, all things work together for the good and that love. And called according to his purpose. He called and he answered. Y'all hear me? That's the same thing that you hooked. That's the same thing that happened when it came down to your cold. I mean, EU. He said the same thing. He said he's going to have a desire to the work of his hand. And said when he calls, said I should answer. Ain't that right? That's what you want to be able to do. Verse ahead. You know why he made that statement? Somebody couldn't do it. Pick that up at the book of EU. Now somebody got hit. I'll go off and on. They go to run and like that. Let's see. It's a little warm. Is it warm? Is it just me? Yeah. The lights on me. Yeah. Lights and everything else. Somebody might owe me some money. Everybody got caught. Let's pray. Let's not pray now. Let's pay. <laughs> Let us pay. Isn't that right? Y'all, y'all like that? Let us pay. Now, you know, what did the debt collector say in the church? Let us pay. Y'all can use that. If you got some family, let them use that to Sunday worship morning. Listen. If an ish die, shall he live again? 
all the yamim of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Y'all hear what he's saying? Pay attention now. If the, when Ish die, shall he live again? He asked the question, shall he live again? Listen. All the yamim of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Listen why? Thou shalt call and I will answer thee. Now, pay attention now. Thou shalt what now? Thou shalt call. And what gonna happen? And I will answer thee. Listen. Thou wilt have a desire to the work of thine hands. Yeah. For now thou numberest my steps. Yeah. Dost thou not watch over my sin? My transgression is sealed up in a bag, and thou sowest up mine iniquity. Yeah. And surely the mountain falling cometh to naught, and the rock is removed out of its place. The meme where the stones, thou washest away the things which grow out of the dust of the Arats, and thou destroyest the hope of Ish. Let's look at something. By the sheet. Let's look at 2, 4, 2, 14 again. By our sheet. 2 and 14. By our sheet. By our sheet. 3. About 5. Let's say that 2. 2. Make it 2 and 16. Not bad. Barashit. Listen, 2 and 16. Listen. And Allahim commanded the Ish, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of Taub and evil okay. thou shalt not eat of it. Listen. For in the yum that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Yeah. And Allahim said, It is not Taub that the Ish should be alone, I will make him and help meet for him. And out of the ground, Allahim formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. Yes. And, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. That was the name thereof. Let's look at the uh, third chapter. Barashit 3. <clears throat> Matter of fact, three and one be fine. Listen. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Allahim had made, and he said unto the Nashim, Yea, hath Allahim said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And well, the Nashim said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Allahim have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, uh -huh. lest ye die. Lest you die. Listen. And the serpent said unto the Nashim, Ye shall not surely die, for Allahim doth know that in the yum ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as Allahim, knowing Taub and evil. Listen. And when the Nashim saw that the tree was Taub for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Listen. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were ara, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. <clears throat> and they heard the voice of Allahim walking in the garden in the cool of the yum, and Adam and his Nashim hid themselves from the presence of Allahim amongst the trees of the garden. What happened? Allahim called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was Ara, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast Ara? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the Ish said, the Nashim, whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Now, what do we find? Back at the book of uh, EU, 14, 14. Let's look at 14, 14. Listen to the statement. Somebody got hit. Listen. If an Ish die. Listen what he said, an uh, Ish. Who was he talking to in 2 and 16? About a sheet, 2, 16. He was talking to the Ish. 
if an ish die, this is what EU said. Shall he live again? Is he going to live after that? Listen what happened. All the yamim of my appointed time. See, he talked about his appointed time. What you going to do? Will I wait? Listen. Till my change come. Listen what else happened. Thou shalt call. Uh-oh. And what you going to do? And I will answer thee. Tell him why. Thou will have a desire to the work of thine hands. That's a beautiful statement. Because when you go back to look at that Barashit chapter 2, 2 and about 6, Barashit 2 and 6. Listen. But there went up a mist from the Arats and water the whole panim of the ground, and Alahim formed Ish of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and Ish became a living soul. See that? So that's why you can see when he came in the garden why he called him. He called him because he had a desire for the work of his hands. See, Eu learned from that. So you see, I'm pointing here for you to go back to consider. He's done this before. Eu looked at, I'm Allahim's creation, which means he's going to have a desire for me. And when he calls, I'm going to answer. Don't worry about it. They ain't going to pay attention. Y'all need to go back to Christianity. It's simple. It's simple to make a fool out of people. Everything I'm telling you, his statement makes sense, don't it? When he went to the garden, it showed you he called him and then showed you he made him. Well, EU just told you that. Well, you're supposed to be his creation, which means he's going to call you, and what's going to be your reply? I heard you, like a lot of y'all do when I tell you I do stuff. I heard you. You hear and you don't hear. You know why you don't hear? Because you ain't maintaining your ways. That's bad. He let him know, I heard what you said. But I was doing something else. See, when you got your mind set to do something else, it's hard to hear when he calling you. At EU 33, 14. No. no. It's a bottle in my jaw, in my drawer. EU 33, 14. EU 3314. Listen. For Allahim speaketh once, yea, twice, what happened? Yet each perceiveth it not. That's what's the problem. For Allahim speaketh once, yea, twice, but what happened? Yet each perceiveth it not. How? In a dream, in a kazoon of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon Anus, yeah. and slumberings upon the bed, yeah. then he openeth the ears of Anus, and do what? And sealeth their instruction. That he might do what? That he may withdraw Ish from his purpose, and do what? And hide pride from Ish. That's what killed a lot of us for him. To let you know he done spoke to you. Even when we look at it in the book of, let's see the book of Abarim. Abarim, two and one. Abarim. How about ring two and one? Listen. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For what happened? For if the debar spoken by Malachi was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a sadak recompense of reward. For if the word spoken by Malachi was steadfast, and if every transgression and disobedience Receive a just recompense. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? What number we got right now? Listen. Which at the first. He told you to speak twice. I'm going to tell you about the first because something coming behind it. But you didn't perceive it, huh? You missed it. 
The only reason why he got me and other people speaking to you because he's trying to withdraw you from your pride, trying to turn you from your purpose. Y'all all right? Wow. Y'all all right? Trying to withdraw man from his purpose, trying to hide pride from him. So a lot of times we get to going, we get to doing things, and in our mind it'll seem like we're okay and things are good, but in his sight things are not good. Listen. And Yahuwah sent Nathan unto Daud, and he came unto him and said unto him, mm -hmm. There were two Anus in one city, mm -hmm. the one rich and the other poor. The rich Ish had exceeding many flocks and herds, but the poor Ish had nothing save one little ewe lamb, which he had brought, bought and nourished up, and it grew together with him and with his children. It did eat of his own meat and drank of his own cup and lay in his bosom and was unto him as a daughter. And there came but a the traveler. What do you for that? Hmm. Unto him as a bath. <clears throat> and probably we tell them, girl, to go take a bath. Bath. Son would be Ben, the daughter would be Bath. <sighs> Listen. And there came a traveler unto the rich Ish, and he spared to take of his own flock and of his own herd to dress for the wayfaring Ish that was come unto him. Yes. But took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the Ish that was come to him. Yes. And Daoud's, Daoud's anger was greatly kindled against the Ish, and said to Nathan, As Yahuwah liveth, the Ish that had done this thing shall surely die. Listen. And he shall restore the lamb fourfold, yes. because he did this thing, and because he had no pity. Listen. And Nathan said to Daoud, Thou art the Ish. See that? He said, You the man. Thou art the man. Listen. Thus saith Yahuwah, Allahim of Yasharal, I anointed thee, Malak, over Yasharal. And what happened? And I delivered thee out of the hand of Shaul. Yeah. And I gave thee thy Adonis house and thy Adonis wives into thy bosom. Yeah. And gave thee the house of Yasharal of Yehud and of Yehuda. Yeah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things. Yeah, I would give you more than that. That had been enough. Listen. Wherefore hast thou despised the commandment of Yahuwah? See that? What happened? To do evil in his sight. Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword, and hast taken his wife to be thy wife, yes. and hast slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Y'all hear that? Come on. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thine house. Look at it. That's why they kept killing us now. We don't know why the bullets keep coming and ringing out. We keep wondering as people of color why we keep getting shot, why we keep getting killed, murdered. That's what he told them was going to happen. Sword ain't going to never leave our house. Our kids are always going to keep getting murdered and shot and hung by these, by these oppressors and gunned down. He said the sword ain't going to never leave his house. Listen what happened. Because thou hast despised me. Listen to And hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Yeah. Thus saith Yahuwah, behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house. Listen. And I will take thy wives before thine eyes and, and give them unto thy neighbor. Wow. 
That's what happened to us today. We wonder why our marriage is being a wreck, why it's in a mess. He told us what was going to happen. But we don't know why, do we? Why do these crackers keep killing us? What's going on with us? Barbara Gang, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Shut the hell up and listen to the book. This is what's going on. He said, you did it. You know what you did? He said, he's going to come back. Therefore, that somebody's going to take your wife. Huh? The sword ain't going to never depart out of your house. This is what else he told you. And he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of this son. You know what, man? They did that same thing, though. They did the same thing, though. Same thing. Y'all know how many people had to sit there in them shanty and watch that nasty, decrepit bastard sleep with your wife and your daughter right now. Huh? He told they going to do it. Listen. For thou didst it secretly. Uh-oh. But I- Thou didst it what? Thou didst it secretly. But what you going to do? But I will do this thing before all y'all should all. You know what messed them up? Yahushua told me ain't nothing done secret ain't going to be made open. He told y'all what nothing going to be done in secret. I ain't going to come to the light. Huh? I'm sorry. That wasn't going to come in the sight of the sun. The sun see you. He can see you. Listen. And before the sun. See that? Right back by the sun. The sun see you now. Listen. And Daoud said unto Nathan. This is what happened. I have sinned against Yahuwah. That's what we say. This is what happened. And Nathan said unto Daoud, Y'all need to think about this. Listen to what he said. Yahuwah also hath put away thy sin. Yes. Thou shalt not die. Howbeit, because by this deed thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of Yahuwah to blaspheme, the child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. Y'all see what happened? He couldn't let nothing attached to that wrong live. He said, you ain't going to die for it. I'm going to put away your... I'm going to forgive your sin, but everything that attaches to their wrong, I'm going to have to kill it. That's why the child died. He had to do it. See, in our eye, we were looking, we wonder why things happen the way they happen and why. We told him why. He said, you don't get a great occasion for these people to sit around now, and these folks are blasphemy. Because of what you do, these people are going to put that on me. We don't think about that. We do stuff. We just think about ourselves, our contentment, our getting away with things, and why it's got to be like that. He said, you don't give these people a great occasion. An occasion is a favorable opportunity. You don't give them an opportunity now that these people can come and they can put this on me. That's what he was looking at. Unlike us, he got a reputation. A lot of us, our reputation ain't worth a shit. If it was, you could do something with it. Put it out in the grass and let it grow. Hmm? Throw it on white people and run. Let them get tuberculosis or something from it. At least go throw it at monkeys or something. But it ain't worth shit. And now we sit around here and we look at the Dabarine. We look at he said, I got a reputation. Huh? Just like when Red said he had that number. I just had to go back and check his ripping. Hmm? If you're wrong, you dead, dead, dead. He got a reputation. See, we don't consider that. When we're doing things, we got him his reputation. It's kind of like you get some out of job. You say, listen, I'm going to get you this job. These people know me. I can get y'all. You get that, you screw that up. Who you think going to look at? That's what he look at. I gave you this opportunity. I put you in this place. I allowed you to come into contact with these people and deal with them. Now they're looking at me. Your so-called... Great God, your religion has been there by the religion. Your so-called everybody else going to hell religion. I can't eat this, can't wear this, can't come to work on these days, and now you don't sit here and cause the occasion. He said, now what you did was secret. He said, but now I'm not coming to chastise you. I got to do this openly. I do that sometimes. I get you, I don't know, I get you in the open. I want to know why, Pastor? Because, see, first name folk going to do it like these lying hypocrites. He covering up. I don't be covering up for none of y'all. Ain't that right? What you do see? You had to be out because you ain't going to put me in that foolishness. See, the first thing I want to do is throw it up and holler. He knew about it. No, no, no. No, nothing about it. Y'all hear me? When they do, like, put it out there. That's why he told you who should. They don't realize it. Let me show you something. 59 and 1. 
So y'all, some you didn't care, though. Yes, Yahoo. Fifty-eight and one. Listen. Cry aloud. Uh oh. Cry. Aloud. Do what? Spare not. Do what? Lift up thy voice like a teruah. And that's what he told him to do. Shew my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. Y'all missed it. That's what he told him. He said he was gonna expose me from the sun. Oh, you thought he was talking about that one up down? He said we're gonna do it in front of the sun. In the sight of the sun. That's why I had to put him up. He told you my servant going to be a stall. He's going to be very high. That's why he was up there crying out. He was trying to show the people. That train. He told him don't spell. So you did yours in secret. He said don't spell. Cry loud. Expose them. Spell not. Lift up your voice like a teruah and show them that train. That's what he did to Daoud. Missed it. What son did they thought he was talking about? Y'all probably didn't go to Christianity. You get one little trinket or nothing, and then you be so excited and happy and filled with the Holy Ghost. Isn't that right? This is what I do. Listen, y'all get a lot of information. Whether or not y'all take it or not, that's the detriment. I'll finish y'all up over here. He had his ring too. Tahalim. Go on right there. Look. Devin don't look uniform. Tahalim. Sixty-nine. Eh, we'll probably read one. Listen. Save me, O Allahim. Save me, O Allahim. For the meme are come in unto my soul. Whoa. Sound familiar? Listen. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am come into deep meme where the floods overflow me. See that? The people overtook him. Listen. I am weary of my crying. Yeah. My throat is dried. Yeah. My right, eyes. I thirst. Isn't that right? Why does you think he asked for something to drink? My wife said, I thirst, my throat is dry. Listen. Mine eyes fail while I wait for my Allahim. Listen. They that hate me without a cause. Listen. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. Listen. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Listen. Then I restored that which I took not away. See that? Wow. So I said and restored that which I took not away. You don't believe what he came to say there. I came to seek and to say that we were lost. He said, I wasn't even the one that took it away, and I had to come and bring it back. Y'all missed a lot of this statement, huh? Listen to what he told you. O oh, Allahim. What? Thou knowest my foolishness. Uh oh. Come on. And my sins are not hid from thee. Listen. Let not them that wait on thee, O Yahuwah, Allahim of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Pay attention now. Let not them that wait on you be ashamed for my sake. Listen. Let not those that seek thee uh -oh, do what? be confounded for my sake, yeah. O Allahim of Yashorol. Yeah. Because for thy sake what happened? I have borne reproach. Yeah. Shame hath covered my face. Yeah. I am become a stranger unto my Aki, yeah. and an alien unto my mother's children. Yeah. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When you went back up, if you went back up to the sixth verse, what did it say? Let not them that wait on thee, O Yahuwah, Allahim of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. He was talking about because of what I do. Don't let me be the embarrassment. 
Huh? He looked at all that was on him. You know why he just said that? Look at his dad. Jaul brought reproach. Gave the enemy reproach. He wanted to make sure when he came along, I don't want that to be on me. I don't want them there waiting on you. Said him because of something I do caused them to stop waiting. He looked at how important it was for him to stay and to maintain like Eu said. See, this is what you guys need to all consider tonight in here and watching it well. Everything that these men did was what he came along to hold to. Their statement, their whole life was set up, predicated on him coming and doing exactly what he was going to do based off of what they did. Hmm? Because before you knew it, what he manifests, he showed it to you naturally first. He showed it to you in the natural first. Hmm? So when they came through and they manifest and they did certain, maybe he came through to show you they were talking about me. They were talking about me. Hmm? Wow. Wow. Well, I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all miss a lot of stuff with him, huh? All these patriots that came before him, he had something to consider. He realized sometimes, like he cried on them, uh, Ali, Ali, and they say, Lema Sabathana, that is to say, my Allahim, my Allahim, why has thou? But get what he did? Maintain his ways. He said, I might cry, but I'm going to maintain my ways. When you say he forsaken you, you know what you do. Get a piece of the rock, smoke crack. Huh? Put on your raw baby. I, I, I want to rock right now. Ain't that right? Smoke you some weed. Tell you some lies. Go out and do something stupid. Transgress. He did it. He said, I to maintain my ways. He said, all the days of my appointed time. He already knew they were going to die. At the ninth chapter of the book of Danny All. See, when, Dan, when, when EU testified that, the whole book is about him. I'm sorry, I put EU. Danny e. All. Danny e. All. Nine. Uh, we'll do 26. It's all the same book, ain't it? Just some day, give me one first, nine and one. I want to see how I get my understanding. See if I do like you do. There's a lot going on out here. Let's see how he got it. Listen. In the first year of Darius, the Ben of Ahasuerus, of the seed of the Medes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the Debar of Yahuwah came to Yaram Yahu the Nabar that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. See how went and just snatched that out of hell? Don't make sense. He said, I understood it by the books. I went back through the books. It showed me the time period. So it makes sense for me to be sitting around just waiting for some spellbounding thing to come out of there to tell me something. The book had already declared it. The book had already declared it. We already knew this. Ukar Shabu, I mean, um, Uyakra had already told us in the 26th chapter that he was going to put out so the land could accomplish her Shabbats. Huh? In the book of um, Dabari Hayamin, he had already declared it. They were going to put us out. They were going to be 70 years. So if he was going to get it, he was going to go back through the book. Everybody keep looking at this magical working or something that's going to goober dust them down with information. It's understood by the book. At verse 26. Listen. After three score and two weeks. Pay attention. After 32 years of age, listen what's going to happen. Shall Mashiach be cut off, but not for himself. And Three the scores. It's going to be 20 as a score. So you're going to do it the way they're going to try to do it. You're going to try to be a smart ass. You're going to come up with about 83, which made absolutely no sense. 
You got three scores. Don't worry about the 60. Worry about the three. Don't worry about the 14. You're going to look at the two weeks. 32. I had smart asses here asking me how I come up with it. Hell, it ain't that hard if you just got a mind. He just told you when. Hell, you thinking, did he die at damn 63? 62? Don't make sense. Pay attention. After three scores in two weeks, what is he going to do? Shall Mashiach be cut off? He would believe to approximately be 33 years of age. Where can you be out of 32? Hell, this ain't hard, huh? What is he going to be, 32 and a half? The 30, I'm seeing 27. Listen. But not for himself. He just told you that. Reproaches have done that reproach thee. Fail well. So the Bible teaches you that the way is the sin is death. The soul that sinned is your what? So we already just told. He just cleared everything up why he died. Just told you when he was going to die after 32 years of age. So between 32 and 33 is when he died. After that, you already been told the soul that sinned is your die. So you already counted him for sin. He just told you, I didn't die for my sin. It's not the first time. I don't know why people are stupid. If you paid attention and... Best shoot more off. The child didn't die because of his sin. Die because of sin of Daniel. Die because of sin of the father. He told him. He said because thou has did this thing in secret. He said the child also gonna die. Child didn't die for itself. Child died for his sin. So you should have known this. That a son was coming through that was going to die, and it wasn't gonna be for his sins. going to be the son of Dawood. How much y'all done got in there? Tell you this, anyone in Hebrew is like Canada, man, y'all done got, a, y'all got about a year worth of sermon. That stuff makes sense. Listen what else going to happen. And the people of the Adani that shall come shall destroy the city and the place and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. What happened? And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. For one week he was going to confirm the covenant. And what happened? And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Now, he just finished telling you about his death. He's going to confirm the covenant with many for how long? One week. The only week that was going to make sense for him to confirm what else we're going to be doing. Hey. Okay. Ain't it good? Mu'adi. This is for a feast. Someone would do muhadin. They'll put an M at the end for the mem. I didn't see a mem, so I'm not going to make one. Muhadi. Right? That's why it's going to make sense for him to confirm the covenant for many for one week. And in the midst of it, was he going to cause a decease? Which means you have seven days. The midst is going to be what's even in the midst, mean evenly divided in the middle. Y'all got it? So he died at the beginning of it. He got up on the third. He make himself known to the fourth. That's why he told you to cast your bread upon the water after many days. It'll be back. you still looking for three. Only if you're skilled. Only if you're skilled. If you're not skilled, I wouldn't advise it to you. If you're a thief, I wouldn't advise it to you. I'm not a thief. I have to steal. Y'all got it?
Does that make sense? Many. You still trying to wrestle with three. End of the day, that's what we got to consider. You got the language, but you got to have behavior. You got to consider we don't need to get an adversary in no room. Huh? This is what they need. Adversaries speak reproachfully. Who are they going to speak against? They're going to put it on him. We're going to cause them to blaspheme him. So all of us in here, including myself, have to consider that. Y'all got me? And while a lot of things are not profitable for us, might be lawful, all things don't edify. Y'all got me? Don't be brought under bondage of certain things. Certain things will put us in bondage. Y'all got me? You'll be tired. You'll be yoked in these people. You won't be free. And who the son set free? Free indeed. That's good.